Uh, Pim, I know you wanted, I think you said you were going to introduce Luna to a centaur. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Luna, come with me. I got someone I want to introduce you to. Okay. I walk over to the residential area of the village. Sure. And I start looking around for a uh, small um, blonde centaur. Sure. Yeah, you, you, as you're looking around, you know, she's not hard to find. You find that there is a... Uh, a masculine uh, masculine centaur, you know, approaching, uh, talking to her, and as you guys approach, you can hear her as she explains, if you can't beat me in a race, there is no reason I will, I would want to be with you. You are far too slow. That's why I am the fastest in the tribe. As the, uh, the other centaur Luna. goes... Yeah, you know, he, he seems dejected, right? <laughs> yeah. Luna? Does he walk away or is he still there? I, I think I, I think I'll just kind of have them continue talking just until they're just t posing with each other until you guys make your move here. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, I'll walk up. Hello, I'm Pamini and Ackle. What's your name? You see a smile uh, cut across her face, and she goes, "Hello, Pamini and Ackle. My name is Sia." It is good to meet you. Oh, good to meet you too. I couldn't help but notice you were talking about a race of sorts. <laughs> yes, these um, these sutas, they're constantly looking for my attention, but they are all mm, lacking. There is not very, there are not a lot of interesting options in this camp, you see. Sure, 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 sure. Makes sense. Makes sense. You're like a gorgeous, beautiful centaur. Like, oh, thank who you. has time <laughs> to waste on all these slow folks, right? Am I right? Indeed. And you are of the merry folk. I saw you all descend from that ship. Oh, yeah, that was pretty cool, huh? That was very cool. We always cool. descend that way. What? Um, mm-hmm. Well, I was just wondering if maybe you'd be up for like a different kind of race? A different kind of race? Yeah. What sort of race did you have in mind? Well, uh, my captain, Lycus, he can actually shift into a wolf. And I've always been curious. <laughs> Who's faster, centaur or wolf? It's obvious I would be faster. Oh, is that what you think? I don't know. I've seen Lycus go pretty, pretty darn fast. I have not met any wolves that were near equal to my speed. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me ask you this. Have you ever had a humanoid on your back. See the mouth kind of closes. No. I think that is... At this moment, I, I, I'm i like a little distance away at that moment, sensing where Pim was going with this. I'm going to have like a L'Oreal commercial type turnaround. <laughs> My back is facing and then like I turn on the hair, you know, wings back and forth. And I look in the <laughs> direction. Now, I know, I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous. This is a right? very insulting question. No, no, no. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> but here's the thing. There's this legend amongst the folk, my people, that a centaur with a humanoid on their back <laughs> is faster than any being on the face of the planet and i've always wanted to know if it was true so well then you will keep wondering because i will not take any rider i am not a horse i'm a person perhaps maybe you carry someone on your back then i have and i will again no shame Mm, 
That is a matter of perspective. For us, it is a lot of shame. Jim carries this damn crew sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I get that. Yeah. I mean, don't you have any curiosity, though, about the legend? No, legends? I don't. Not really. <laughs> This is a most insulting thing that you have asked of me, or that you are implying. My people are proud. We are not horses. I would never, ever call you a horse. You're way cooler than a horse. I think not sensing the moment or what's going on, but assuming this is when I should enter, mm -hmm. well, I'll walk into it and say, my name's Lunazar Elvins, and I am the rider. <laughs> I can help you go faster than you ever have before. Just think, just imagine. The fastest you've ever run in your life. Wind blowing through your hair. I mean, that's got to feel great, don't you think? It feels great already. I do not need a rider. I do not look to demean myself for the sake of your curiosity. Perhaps one day, maybe you have the good fortune of being shifted or polymorphed into Senitar yourself, and then you test your theory. <laughs> I'm, I don't gonna demand... I'm gonna I'm gonna cast Charm person. What if our <laughs> captain beat you in a race? No, it's not working. I'm going to cast Charm Person. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> What's the DC? In international <laughs> incidents back, about nice. to occur like this. <laughs> I know! We've been so good. Um, also, challenge with the race. I will trounce their ass. Yeah. Um, okay. I don't have any bonuses here. Well, I, w I will guide myself for sure. Isn't it a DCI I roll against Charm Person? Oh, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're yeah, right. what's a DC? It's a DC 22. Okay. They're not still enthralled, are they? Or fascinated? No. Uh, that is a 15 plus 9 for 24. So success. Um, she kind of so yeah. She pulls back. Yeah. So so it's a fit. It's a success. What what happens on a regular success? It's a success. They're unaffected, but they they don't recognize it as a charm spell. They see it as something harmless. Okay. Then yeah, uh, she just says, "I am willing to race in good spirits to see who is faster, but." I will not put my pride up for your amusement or your collateral. It's okay, Pim. I wouldn't <laughs> want to ride a coward anyways. <gasps> oh, oh god damn it, Luda! Towards. I'll turn around and I'll like slow walk. I'm gonna follow and, and try to be cool about it. But I'm really excited to see what happens next. Oh no. <laughs> Luna, uh, what's your perception modifier? Uh, plus 10. Okay. You got a 16 against her... Ready to hit you. Against her 21 to notice as she quickly just snatches your sword from your hip. You just hear the she the blade on she sing! And she turns and she says... If you believe you are so fast, then prove it. And takes off with your sword. And she's running off out of the camp with your sword in her grip. And she is... And you can chase after her if you like, but she gone. Well, I'll instantly use the Ziggy hook to attach. Okay, so what we are going to do here is we are going to enter into a chase. So Yay! a chase is another subsystem. We didn't actually test out the influence subsystem because with the entrance you guys made, these people were already friendly and, you know, there's, it's <laughs> silly yeah, that they wouldn't. Apparently. But the chase subsystem, the way the chase subsystem was gonna work, Luna, is essentially you are going to be competing against her to see if you 
uh, catcher, um, it's not about movement speed. In Pathfinder, chases are more like skill challenges. Um, there are different obstacles that you are going to have to overcome. The uh, basically, if you know you both are succeeding at the obstacles, she will stay ahead, right? If she fails at one of the obstacles and you succeed, you catch up to her and you can attempt to catch her. I'm gonna but, catch that chocobo. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we are gonna go in then to. Obstacle number one. Luna, she snatches your sword from your hip, and as she takes off, there's just a cloud of dust as she starts to gallop away. Um, the other centaurs see her taking off, and they all kind of begin to close ranks as she calls out something um, in a in a language that is unfamiliar to you. The centaurs have been all speaking common thus far to you all, but as she makes her call out, you see the others kind of turn and look towards you as they start to get into your way. So you said you were going to try to chase after her with the Ziggy Hook. You can still do that, but now there is a group of centaurs in your way. So um, you will have to succeed a DC 17 check to proceed to the next obstacle. Each success awards you one chase point. A critical success will award you two. For this first obstacle, you need two uh, chase points to get past the centaurs. Then, if I can't attach it to her, can if if the other centaurs are coming in to block me, like mm -hmm. any of them, any of them on the side, can I use my ziggy hook to attach to them to kind of launch me forward? Sure. Yeah. So, attach and like. Yeah. Yeah. Can I do something? I don't uh, know if this is turn order thing, but I have a spell that I need to cast. Okay, um, you can... Well, let's have Luna go first, because she is kind of the only one in the chase, for real. Right? But you are very close to the beginning, yeah. so I'll give you a chance to go ahead and do something here. Okay, but just one keep in mind, Yeah, keep in mind, if you do this, right, that is going to essentially take up one of Luna's chances here. So, let's say, I just want to be upfront. If you fail, then... Luna, the only thing Luna can get would be a success rather than a critical success because you're taking up one of her turns um, and the uh, Sia will probably get uh, further ahead. But you can go ahead and try. If it's successful, it might work and you might auto-succeed and then Luna only needs one. But if you fail, then Luna does... Well, that. yeah, fuck it. I'm just going to do it. Go for it. Um, this <laughs> is a so i i see what's happening i get really excited because there's some action going on mm -hmm. and i start dancing a really fast jig and my feet are moving faster than you have ever seen tim's feet move before i'm dancing at a super lively tempo and um i'm going to give both luna and sia a 10 foot status bonus to all speeds oh cool okay yeah. 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 Because my my thought here is that Yeah, let's hear this. <laughs> hey, it's been announced. <laughs> Ten foot speed to Sia and Luna. Okay. Well, my thought is that they gave her to grab the sword or try to get to her. Well, if, if I can't attach to her, I'm trying to see if I could use it to just to you're like, launching off of the launch myself centaur. The yeah, other so, centaurs are coming. Yeah, so you block. can attempt so that. So my hope is that my hope is that you would use it to to get on her back, and then the speed bonus would take effect, so that she would buy into the legend that I just lied mm. about. <laughs> okay. Well, she yeah. she got the speed bonus, um, oh. Luna. You are making your attempt. Uh, because you're using your Ziggy Hook, I will allow you to... For the Ziggy Hook to attach, is that a crafting check that we have on the stat block there for the Ziggy Hook item? Or how do you attach it onto something? Like an attack roll? Make an, let's see. To anchor the grappling hook, make an attack roll with the secret trait against the DC depending on the target. But, okay. That means, does that mean you have to do it? That means I have to do it. <laughs> okay. What's the uh, attack modifier? Uh, uh, it depends. I, I think it might as well just go with crafting, I guess. Yes, what's the modifier? So crafting would be plus 14. 
Okay. Uh, that's going to be then a 24 on your first one. So that is one success. Um, this is the DC was 17, so it's not a critical success. Um, so you get one chase point. Uh, I'll say Pim spell was not one that had a sucker save effect, so it'll count as one success as well. So yourself and C are speed boosted by Pim as you launch yourself. The Ziggy Hook shoots from your hip, catches onto the um, the chain of one of these centaurs who are getting to stand, starting to begin to stand in your way, and you zip up to him, put kick off the shoulders, and you are chasing after Sia. That'll bring you to the next obstacle here in the chase. As you're chasing after Sia, you get to the edge of camp. Uh, as you get to the edge of the mound, it, there is a scree slope, right? So very loose stone, very loose gravel that kind of leads down off of the mound. Sia is just kind of bounding uh, across the gravel. You're going to need two. That's a success for Sia. You're going to need two, say, um, two chase points here. So you can use athletics, acrobatics, or survival to try to navigate this. Or if you have a different skill in mind that you think you can use to navigate this, you can go for that as well. The DC is 20. Critical success will get you two, which is enough to pass this obstacle. DC is 20, critical success will give you two. Um, did acrobatics or athletics or something else? Survival. Or Those survival. are the ones I have kind of like on the stat block, but I'm also willing to take other things. Like you can, you know. Uh, it's loose gravel on the, on the ground is what Correct. you mentioned? Correct, yep. Very loose gravel. Very tricky to kind of run downhill on this. Uh, yeah, I, I guess of those, because I can't use the hook on loose gravel. That's not going to turn out well. Mm -mm. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll try and do acrobatics of, of those three. Okay, go for an acrobatics check. That is... Good. I want to burn my last hero point. There goes this. the last hero point. We <laughs> in it now. Another dice. That is an 18. 18. That is one success. Sia also rolled an 18. Oh, you, you had 18 total, right? Yeah. Okay. Sia rolled 18 on the dice and then plus the athletics modifier of, uh, sorry, acrobatics modifier of uh, 12, because she's very fast. Uh, did get a critical success, so she is on to the next obstacle. You need one more success on this to get to the next obstacle. That is a 27. 27 is a success. Okay, so you do make it to the next obstacle. Uh, as you make your way down the hill, you kind of slide at the bottom and you start sprinting again after Sia. You can see her off in the distance. She is doing quite, she did quite well on the screen. Um, as she is making her way, you can see that the two of you are making your way now around the uh, dried up watering hole. Up ahead, you're approaching that mesa that's on the other side of it. Sia is looking to kind of cut within the mesa, between the mesa and the watering hole. And as she's making her way to Towards there, you can see the heat shimmering off of the sand. Suddenly, the wind picks up, and several flaming tornadoes, like dust devils, begin to just <laughs> right up ahead. And she quickly kind of pumps the brakes and cuts back towards around the outside of the mesa. Um, and that is going to be one success for her. But because she's now going around the outside of the mesa, she is going to be taking a longer route. So we can also split routes on a chase. You could try to stay on the inside track here, but there are flaming tornadoes in the way. So you can, you know, you, you can, for the flaming tornadoes, what do I have here? Uh, da, 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 da. For the flaming tornadoes, the flame devils, you can try to get past them with nature, arcana, or occultism, so one of your magic casting options. You could also use perception, and I also anticipate that because it's the mesa is next to it, you could potentially use like your ziggy hook to attach onto it, so I also had crafting in here as well. Uh, I think of those, I'm, I'm going to try and apply, use my uh, arcana knowledge. Arcana? Okay. I know, avoid it. Sure. Uh... On dice. That is a 24. 24 is a success. It's not a critical success, um, but it is one success. Um, 
Uh, I think, you know, as you're kind of running up towards this thing, uh, you have ice spells, don't you? Yeah, like, frostbite. Yeah, yeah, so you have frostbite, right? So, you know, probably kind of coat yourself in some ice as you kind of dart into the into the flame tornadoes and you're kind of pushing through the other side. I need one more success to see if you get through it. If you critically fail, you do go back a point. Uh, that is a 27. 27 is a success. You make it through. Um, you know, uh, so you pop out the other side. You lead you guys all from the far side. You can see as Luna and C are making their way towards the Mesa, Luna just kind of cuts through these flaming tornadoes that have spawned. And as she cuts through the other side, you see a little bit of steam uh, coming off of her. But she seems none the worse for wear. But Luna, because Sia went around the Mesa and she did not roll very well on her checks here, you do have the advantage as you get to the... You, you can kind of imagine, like, you kind of... She kind of went the long road, and you just kind of took the short road. Yeah, cut, cut inside. You cut inside, so you can see as she's coming up towards you just on your left now. So you can attempt to grab her here with an attack roll. Yeah, I'm going to try and attach her with the, the Ziggy Hook. Ziggy Hook. Oh, that's a check for me, right? Yeah. Okay. That's a pretty decent roll. Um, I rolled a 15. Plus, plus 14. Plus 14 for 29. Yeah, that's going to hit. Right? So, yeah, you attach with the Ziggy Hook as she's kind of coming up, uh, coming around the side. You emerge out of the flames. Yeah. She's, she's looking back thinking, ha, gotcha. Right? And as she looks to the side, <laughs> Luna emerges out of the flames, frost kind of covering her body, and she shoots the Ziggy Hook out and flies through the air and catches Sia on the right forearm. And Luna, you reel yourself in, I'm imagining? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, you've got her kind of caught as she's trying it's to continue to run. Right yeah, it's very attack on Titan. Uh, she's continuing <laughs> to try to run as you're attached. Uh, I need an acrobatics check from you to pull yourself in. That is a 22. 22. That is a success. With a 22, you... Uh, zip through the air attached by the Ziggy Hook uh, and you connect on, you grab her by the shoulders and you are now centaur surfing. You're standing on her back. Yay! <laughs> as she, as her arm is kind of pulled back by the Ziggy Hook, uh, she is running as fast as she can, full bore back towards the camp. And you all see Luna surfing on a centaur um, who is waving her blade frantically <laughs> as she approaches back faster, to camp. faster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. She is going to crank the brakes super hard and try to roll to end here as she's just kind of annoyed more than anything. I need one more reflex save from you, Luna. Oh. Natural 20 for 34. Oh. <laughs> She like chucks like herself. Battle. She chucks herself to the ground. Like she almost like tries to judo roll like a, as a centaur, where she throws a shoulder to the ground and tries to squish <laughs> you underneath. But you just hop right off, um, and as you do so, you do manage to pluck your blade back from her hand. And you all see as Sia rolls into the other side of camp, and Luna kind of just alights onto the ground. Maybe a little flourish of the sword. I don't know. Up to you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just just put it back into the hilt, and then I'm, I'm, I'll just. That was fun. <laughs> uh, <laughs> walk back to the group. Just treat it like an attraction ride. Oof. <laughs> you see, as Luna comes back towards to regroup with the rest of you, uh, the other centaurs are shocked. Similar to how they were slack-jawed when you guys arrived, they're similarly slack-jawed at the moment. Sia looks so disappointed in herself. She spits on the ground, dusts herself off, and walks away behind one of the tents and disappears into the, into the camp. Luna, you rejoin your party. Pim's just gonna make a, a big... Oh, sorry, what did you say, Luna? No, I was just going to say, you know, shouldn't have took my sword. <laughs> but I'll, I'll go to you, like, for a huge high five moment there. Oh, man. Thanks, Pim. Turns out centaurs, faster than horses. 